Hello, this is Thomas. My radio call is November 1, Sierra Papa Yankee. And as you can see down here, I have myself a nice little variable capacitor. I picked up this capacitor at the Orlando Ham Fest this year, and I was actually planning on using it to make a nice loop antenna. And I'll tell you guys right up about loop antennas and capacitors in a couple minutes when I am ready to get started. As I've said before, this here is a variable capacitor. You can tell that it's a capacitor because it has these metal plates which don't intersect. The reason they don't intersect is because they need a medium between them which is air. That air helps keep the buildup of electricity in the plates and when they build up enough they discharge. And you can use that in a, in a loop antenna because that allows you to tune to a certain frequency. One of the most important things in a loop antenna is its variable capacitor. So I've decided to measure how much capacitance it really has. So I'm going to set this to capacitance, like that. I'm just going to measure it. So it looks like the capacitor gets to around 0 0.086 nanofarads, which is around 86 picofarads. That's not a whole lot of range, but I think it'll do, and it's what we have, so we're going to have to use it. The two main parts of the loop we're building is the outer loop and the inner loop. Connecting the two of these parts is called coupling. The way we're going to couple the two parts is by building a smaller inner loop. Another way you can couple them is by putting a, a variable capacitor inside of the smaller loop, but we're not going to do that. And another way to couple them is by wrapping a conductor around here, but we're also not going to do that. So, <clears throat> to connect my variable capacitor to the loop, I was thinking of using these the short conductors. And if these don't clip on very well, I was thinking of using alligator clips. But I hope that these do clip on well, because it would be good to use this, sh this short wire. Because alligator clips, when they clip on here, they're a little too long and they can affect the electrical properties of the loop. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if these fit onto the variable capacitor. These look like a decent fit and it looks like they're ready to be hooked up to the loop. I've been searching for a couple minutes and I think I've found the best inner loop material. This is a nice used coat hanger. All I have to do is cut it with this and just, you know, clean the lead so I can make it make electrical contact and be able to conduct electricity and I think we found our inner loop. It looks like I've also found the best way to connect the inner and outer loops. So I think this little thing here will be the best thing. I can connect the BNC cable directly to the inner and outer loops and through the radio. So I have pretty much everything. I just need to tie everything together temporarily. So I'm going to use these zip ties to hook everything up. So here's the finished project. For my bigger loop, I have this refrigerator copper wire, and it's just obviously in the form of a loop. I have my variable capacitor here that's hooked up to the bigger loop, and I have my smaller loop down here that's hooked up to everything. So now I'm going to find my KX2 and I'm going to hook it up to our loop antenna. So now you can see that I am tuned to the frequency 14287 on the KX2. You might not be able to hear the KX2's audio, but that's because I haven't tuned yet. Whichever way I, I start moving this, you can start to hear the signal pop up. And when it fully pops up, which is right around there, 
the antenna is tuned. Also, the variable capacitor is very sensitive, so you have to be extremely careful when tuning. So I called a couple CQs, but I wasn't able to find anybody to make contact with. I think it's just because of the variable capacitor and the antenna and the limited materials we used. So next time, definitely I would use better materials. And maybe that will result in a better antenna, which can make contact. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and have, an, and have a good day.